What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. Today is basically going to be the video on how I refresh my curls, especially because the fronts of my hair tend to get really really frizzy and undefined quickly. So this video is just going to, you know, take you along on that journey. So keep on watching. So right now I just got my hair up in a hair tie just because once it starts to get frizzy and whatnot, I just like to keep it up and wait till I refresh it um, before I start wearing it down again. So I just have it in a little satin hair tie and I'm just gonna pull it out. And that's what we're working with. I mean, it's not too bad. Thankfully the wash and go that I did like four or five days back, this is how old my hair is. Basically it's just like the top umbrella of my hair um, is the part that needs refreshing. So that's the part that I'm basically going to focus on. And all I really do is I take some water and then I go through it with this Camille Rose Curl Maker. And it's basically like a curling jelly. I really like it because it gives my hair a soft hold um, and gives it definition without it being super crunchy and it doesn't flake up. Start with this underneath section and just wet it like so. I take like two pumps. I would say like this much product it's really really liquidy which is nice also everything I talk about will be listed in the description box so if you want to know or forget you know it'll be right down there and like as you can see already the shine is there the definition is there and everything just looks more pieced together now granted I get a lot of shrinkage so already these pieces are longer than this but once it dries it'll all even out so I typically just like to smooth it like this and then rake it like I'm raking it with a comb and then that's it now this side is done and I'm gonna work towards the backs I'm really gonna just focus the water on the ends because that's where it's most frizzy smooth and rake smooth and rake I finished this side and I started a little bit of this side and I'm just working on some more of the back the top back pieces um, or the back top pieces that probably makes more sense and then I'm gonna tackle this front frizzy section of my hair for y'all it's really this part that you know gives me the most trouble which is why I wanted to save it to do it with y'all but these top pieces I really really like to go in small little sections and just keep on doing the same thing except now with these pieces I may add a finger coil every now and then just to help the curls out um, a little bit more so right here I'll just go like this and then right here just like this but then a helpful tip I would also say is you don't have to finger coil every single mini section that you do like for this for instance I will literally just spray it get a half a pump just because the section's so small and then just smooth it over and just do this and last but not least this little section just smoothing it over and with this I really do like to focus it on the roots and then I'll just rake it and then as I rake it it kind of separates right so with those separate pieces I just like to finger coil it just a little bit more cool Alright guys, so yeah, this is pretty much the final result and right now I'm just going to let it air dry. I'm going to go hang out with some friends and then I'll come back later on tonight and I'll show you guys, you know, what we're working with so you can really see the final result. Alright, so it's been a couple hours like four hours to be exact and I just got home from hanging out with some friends and my hair is pretty much all dry now this is what we're working with I'm super happy with it like I always am that curl maker from Camille Rose is such a godsend I love it and my hair does not even feel crunchy at all it feels light it doesn't feel like I just added more product to my hair so all in all like this is this is my hair this is how I refresh my curls. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, you know, you can give it a thumbs up if you want. Um, and don't forget to comment down below what you thought and let me know if you have any questions at all. I love responding to y'all's comments. But thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.